Hi guys, I'll be explaining about the signal master. So you have your transmitter, which sends um, ERLS signals to the this ERLS receiver, which is connected to this signal master. And then you have your high frequency head that's connected to the signal master, which sends over signals to this ERLS receiver uh, that's that will be connected on the plane. And then this, it also sends back telemetry signals to this so that, you know, it's like all your information, like your altitude, your um, speed, your location, and your voltage. And then this signal master basically translate the ERLS to MathLink and then uses Bluetooth to send all that information to your ground station so that you can just view it using a phone like you can you, you can view all the information using a phone with uh, accurate real-time data and then also this since it has all the uh, location of the airplane based on all this information it can tell this AAT inside here where the airplane is so basically it will give you or try to give you the best video feed based on the information given to the AAT and then, so let's try actually making this work. We will not be using the AAT in this uh, video because I do not feel like trying to fly at night. So, yeah. Um, here, let's give, give me a moment, guys. I'm gonna find this. Give me a moment, guys. So basically, you want to turn on your transmitter. Welcome to HTS. Alright, now that you have that on, you also want to have this originally connected in the first place. Please do not plug in the battery before the um, high frequency head and the signal master is connected. Uh, oh crap, uh, this and this connected, or else you might have a problem, so, yeah, now that we have this, move this out of the way, we're gonna plug it in, remember, positive goes with positive, negative goes with negative, alright, oh, so, now that you have this, You should have a solid blue light to tell you that these two things are strongly connected and that they're fine. But look, you still have a yellow blinking light, which means this stuff is still not connected to here. I cannot send the telemetry signal with the information so that you need a big battery now. Something, any battery for now in this example and that you can connect it with uh, this. Positive, positive, negative, negative. So, yeah. Now you gotta basically just connect it. Now that you've got the yellow solid light, that means these things are properly connected. I remember earlier I talked about how this uses Bluetooth to send this stuff like this um, and MavLink. So now that you have your ground station here, you connect with using Bluetooth 
And in this case, this is my signal master. So I'll be clicking sig signal master. And then now you have your feed with all your information. Look at that. And now you can have like this. Um, here, now I'm going to turn it. So now it's stable on the ground like that. Now look. Look how cool that is. And then if I... Look how cool that is, right? <laughs> and then also you can test this out too with the servos. Here, I'll move them over so you guys can see them properly. Pretty cool guys and remember you can have this send the gps coordinates to the aat so that it can give you the best video feed for your flying so that is it for today's video um so in conclusion this is basically just a translator for maveling so you can have accurate data feed on your ground station and that you can have the best quality video connection with the AAT and if you have any questions I will make follow-up videos with those questions including your comments shown on that video so you guys will understand what is going on with all this technology so yeah see ya